I was walking down State Street in downtown Chicago this week when I noticed a plaque on the Marshall Fields building that designated it as simply that, the Marshall Fields building. And I wondered, wow, when, when does a legacy simply become a building? Welcome to Conservative Coffee Hour. I'm Stanley Smith. Each week at Conservative Coffee Hour, we're listening to important voices in the political discourse in our time. Recently, I was having a conversation with a young, a young gentleman from, from visiting from London, and I was, uh, found myself telling him a story, a uh, Paul Harvey story that uh, was related years ago, and before I could tell the story, I had to first had to explain who Paul Harvey was. <laughs> I found myself describing a, a series of people, uh, strong voices here in Chicago, Paul Harvey and Irv Kupsinet and Ann Landers and Mike Royko, uh, so many people, so many terrific voices in the past, and I, I found myself wondering, where are all the strong and strong voices in our time? Last week, we, we did have a strong voice. We had a, a candidate for the 5th Congressional District, Alicia Martinez, and uh, she was sharing her story and that she is running as an independent. I think in the past, we, um, we'd probably look askance at anyone running as an independent, um, voting for independent, voting for libertarian. We repeatedly hear that's, uh, that's throwing our vote away. But Alicia really painted a picture that uh, was encouraging and enticing and in many ways useful for the, uh, the, frame, the frame of the word independent. And in fact, if we look at the uh, electorate, most people are what they call swing voters or independent voters. So it's not a bad, it's not a bad name, uh, title, uh, tag to hold on to. The idea of independent, being independent, that is what we're all hoping to be here in this country again very, very soon. Um, uh, Alicia told us that she is running in a, the 5th district, which is newly configured, including Hinsdale and Elmhurst area, and uh, she's hoping that the word and her message as an independent is, is going to resonate with her electorate. Um, this, uh, this season, you know, we hear a lot about how we're hoping that we're going to have a major win here in November and that the Patriots are going to take back control. And I, I find myself wondering, well, what, what does that mean? Who are these Patriots going to be? Are they going to be Republicans or are they going to be Democrats? And I, I think we can take a cue from Alicia and um, request and put the pressure on for these people, regardless of which party they are, to be independent and to represent us, the, uh, the electorate, the, the people of this country. When I uh, shared the story with the young uh, Englishman about Paul Harvey, the story was of an of a unexpected knock uh, in the English countryside during a, during a blustery snowstorm. The knock at the door was a, was a woman and her young, young son who were unexpectedly stranded. Uh, their car had slid off the road and they wanted to know if they could come in and wait until their family could send help. They were, of course, welcomed in, and the family prepared some tea, and uh, her son played with um, the visitor's young son until, until help did arrive. And they thanked them when they left, and when they closed the door, they, they all remarked what an unexpected guest and pleasure it was to host Queen Elizabeth and her young son, Prince Charles. Paul Harvey always ended his uh, radio uh, broadcast in Chicago with, and now you know the rest of the story. This November, I hope that uh, when we have a new Congress and hopefully a new Senate, we'll, we'll be able to so, say we know the rest of the story, and that story will be we've got a bunch of people willing to act independently and do the right thing and right this ship and return our country back to a constitutional republic. If you would like to join us for Conservative Coffee Hour, Conservative Coffee Hour is every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Time. I will include my email in the description of this video. I'll be happy to send you an invitation, and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon.